And this morning he said he had a feeling he would be on the move. I knew it was coming because it was lots of rumors and uh, New York Islanders are trying to like rebuild the team and um, I knew it was coming but I didn't know where. Yeah, I'm happy I can trade to a team who is uh, one of the best team in the league and a uh, playoff team. That deal, of course, took place yesterday. Three o'clock this afternoon was the trade deadline moment, and the Devils stood pat. It was a busy time for President and GM Lou Lamorello, but in the end, he elected to go with the group he has now. He tells us why. First of all, uh, we're extremely pleased with our hockey team. Uh, but the reason the Devils did not make a move is they could not make their team better. I've said all along that whenever you can make your team better, you do so. Uh, but you never just do something for the sake of doing it and you don't go laterally uh, with the type of character that we have in our locker room uh, the type of experience and also the, the uh, progress of our young players we feel very good were you close at all today uh, you know and, and this business uh, close means nothing uh, <laughs> so I, I think what we should do is just uh, look forward uh, uh, and get ready for the playoffs. One deal you did make occurred yesterday. Sergei Nemchinov was acquired from the Islanders. What does he bring to the team? Well, in, in Sergei, we felt uh, that he would bring to us uh, experience, uh, a veteran who can play in, in all forward positions, uh, can be used uh, defensively, and also chips in the important goal at the right time, uh, and a reliable person. And down the stretch, uh, you never know what comes about with injuries. And whenever you can put a player like that into the lineup, uh, at any given spot, uh, uh, you have to, you know, do it. Stan Fischler joins us now. Stan, there was a rumor earlier today going through the hallways that the Devils would make a major trade. It didn't happen. Are you surprised? Well, first of all, uh, what are you believing those rumors for? Why don't you ask me instead of yapping about what you hear in the hallway? You know better than that. Lou Lamorello told you he's not going to make any silly panic move. And actually, when you look at what they did, they gained one player and basically gave up nothing. I say it's a good news, good news move because number one, they got somebody who could be like Neil Broughton was in 95 when he came in and he became a major factor in the Stanley Cup run. And secondly, they retained a very good chemistry and they do not lose promising players like Sheldon Sure. Guys were raving about Sure is going to be going. That was crazy because he's an Albany guy, a graduate who they're going to develop. Same with Bombardier, same with Dean. So the essential chemistry that is a Robbie Fatoric type chemistry is here. That's good. Well, that collective sigh of relief you heard around 3 o'clock came from all the devils whose names were on that rumor mill but stay with the club. A busy day for Buffalo. They were looking for offense. They feel they've upgraded that situation with the acquisition of Joey Juno from Washington. They also pick up Rhett Warner from Florida and Derek Plant, or rather send Derek Plant to the Dallas Stars. As for Juno, new digs for the forward, and he's happy about it. Uh, I was not surprised because um, they, you know, they've told me in the last uh, week or so that. Uh, uh, you know, I was going to be moved, and uh, along with uh, obviously uh, some teammates, and uh, you know, it happened today. I'm very happy actually because it's a it's a team with a lot of speed. Uh, you know, that that's a big part of my game. It's a young team. It's very exciting, and uh, you know, again, if you're going to win in the playoffs, uh, you're going to need to have a very good goaltender, and uh, that's a big part w why we we got so far last year because Oli played great, and uh, you know, again, in in Buffalo, we probably have the best in the business. Juno will play tonight. What about chemistry for Buffalo? A lot of new names, a lot of new faces. Well, what Darcy Regeer, the GM, did was disinfect that locker room. It started with Matthew Barnaby was causing a lot of trouble. Uh, Wilson obviously was uh, not doing anything close to what his promise was. This is a super move for Buffalo, and you'll see the beginnings of why it is tonight. Juno is going to be a terrific addition. They need that scoring punch, and, you know, him leaving Washington... It's just going to be a wonderful thing. It was like a guy getting hit on the head with a big wooden mallet. It felt great when it stopped, and he's out of there. He's out of a bad situation, got a good one here. All right, well, let's talk about some moves that were made across the land, beginning with the Western Conference. And the top teams were involved in a lot of deals. And look at the turnover in Detroit. Chris Chelios, Ulf Samuelson, Wendell Clark, Bill Ranford, all now part of the Red Wings defense of the Stanley Cup. I say the Red Wings with, with those moves 
have almost guaranteed their way into the Stanley Cup Finals. These were sensational moves. It's a very wealthy team. It's just a great, great move by Kenny Holland, the GM. All right, what about Ranford's acquisition, though? He's not been all that good this year, quite frankly. He's going to be behind uh, their starter, Chris Osgood. What? When did you reason? become a goalie coach? Well, I talked to uh, Jacques Braun. No, actually, I did not talk with the Devils. Uh, you uh, know, coach, uh, Billy, but, Billy Ranford, he looked awful in Tampa Bay, and there are a lot of reasons for that. But I think he still has it. And he's only going to be a backup, so it's not like it's the end of the world. They've got a guy who went to the Cup with them. So uh, the Ranford thing is just incidental. To me, getting those defense, getting Chelios just fantastic move. Well, we talked about Juno leaving Washington. As you saw, Dale Hunter no longer a cap. But there are some teams in the East who made moves to improve themselves. Washington obviously giving up, but the Flyers, they pick up a lot of salary and some toughness uh, in Craig Berube and Steve Duchesne. Yannick Perot goes to Toronto from Los Angeles. Nelson Emerson from Carolina to the Senators. Well, once again, uh, the Flyers fortified the wrong area. I mean, uh, Steve Duchesne is an offensive defenseman. The Flyers' problem is defense. And they don't have a, a solid defense, and Duchesne is not going to do it for them. I've said it before. It's like if you have a headache and you cut off your toenail, one thing has nothing to do with the other. So that's not going to help them at all. Well, Bobby Clark was concerned that his Flyers team was banged around in the playoffs by this Buffalo club last year. So he gets Craig Berube earlier, had acquired Sandy McCarthy to add some toughness. Stan's on his way downstairs. The fans on their way in, because up next, Stan will talk with Robbie Fatorik in the coach's corner.